Go, 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 score! Oh yes, that's exactly how I get carried away when I'm watching a game or any kind of sport. Well, I love sports. But did you know that in order to play a sport, apart from actually knowing how to play the sport, you need to have certain quality. <music> We're going to talk about qualities that describe sports people or athletes. Now, like I said, an athlete needs to have certain qualities to be really good at his game or at whatever sport he or she is playing. Now, the qualities is what I have listed out over here and we're going to look at them one by one and I'm going to explain the meanings to you and we're going to have sentences as well. Okay, so the first one on my list is drive. Now this drive has nothing to do with driving a car. This drive actually stands for a strong desire. So this is a strong desire to do well, to be the best at the game that you're playing. So if I had to use this in a sentence, I could say, it's very important to have drive in order to excel at your game. Simple. You need to have that desire, that deep desire to do well and be number one. Only then you're going to get there. What's next on my list? It's focus. Now focus is actually concentrated attention. Meaning, you need to be completely concentrating on the game or the task at hand. Now, a lot of people actually admire athletes for the kind of focus that they possess. Because this kind of focus is really useful no matter what field you're in. So, if I had to use this in a sentence, I could say something like, Roger Federer, who's actually one of my favorites, is the king of focus because whenever he plays a game he is completely focused on his game so that's focus for you and what's next well the next three are actually very important and very related to each other they go hand in hand they are what i call the three d's there's discipline there's dedication and determination so these three d's are very very important if you want to be an excellent athlete now discipline actually is a code of behavior which means it's actually like a set effort or a set pattern that you keep repeating over and over and over again till you achieve what you want. So if you're learning a new game or if you want to get really good at a certain kind of a sport, you need to have the discipline to follow doing the same things over and over again. You need to have the discipline to keep doing the same things over and over again. So well, that's discipline for you. Now, dedication is actually the sincerity of effort that you need to possess. And determination is actually the attitude to achieve no matter what. Now, I'm sure you can see how these three are related because discipline is code of behavior, dedication is sincerity and determination is a decision or an attitude to achieve no matter what. So if I have to use them in a sentence, it would be as straight and simple as discipline, determination and dedication 
are actually the three most important qualities that a sports person should possess. So all these three are very important. In fact, dedication, if you have dedication, it's, a, it's like a combination of discipline and determination. So if you have dedication, which also means that you are disciplined and you also have determination. Moving on, the next one, very important, but very tricky for most people, and that is emotional maturity. Now, emotional maturity can be explained as a sense of calm. Now, as an athlete, sometimes you will win. Sometimes you will lose and have a really bad day. Sometimes you will receive a lot of negative criticism. But what you need to have is emotional maturity, which means you are not too affected by victory. You're not too affected by failure. You have the maturity to be calm no matter what. So I could use this in a sentence and say, a lot of sports people actually lose out because of the lack of emotional maturity despite having the best skills. And trust me, there is nothing truer than that sentence. And there have been a lot of examples where a lot of people have actually lost out because they couldn't maintain their emotional maturity. Moving on, there is presence of mind. Now, this one is very difficult, but most required. So presence of mind actually stands for the ability act and act correctly in the moment. So sometimes while an athlete is competing or playing, there have to be certain decisions which need to be made in that instant, in that split second moment. And those decisions can actually decide the, the outcome of the game. So that's when you need presence of mind, that is the ability to act in the moment. So especially in football, I've seen that a lot of games are won due to presence of mind more than skill. So presence of mind is very, very important. And moving on, what do we have next? We have competitiveness. Now there is no sport without competitiveness because this is the desire to win or to beat someone else. So it's very important that you want to be a winner. It's very important that you want to beat your opponent and you want to beat your opponent well. To have this quality is called having competitiveness. And something that is related to competitiveness is aggression. Now, aggression stands for a certain kind of fierceness. Now, let me be very clear. Too much aggression, not good. Too little aggression, not good enough. So just the right amount of aggression is required in sports because you can't go to a game and act like, okay, I'm really calm now, I'm just gonna play. You need to have that aggression, that spirit that I am going to win, I'm going to compete, I'm going to beat my opponent. So, well, I think that competitiveness and aggression go hand in hand. And both these qualities together actually win many, many games. So, I would say in a sentence that competitiveness and aggression are the two qualities which need to be present in just the right amount never too much and never too little. So that's competitiveness and aggression for you. And the last one on my list is attitude. Now attitude actually sums up almost all of the qualities that I have listed. Now attitude stands for a way of being or thinking. Now, people think that sports is all about physical ability and stamina and physical strength, but it's actually a lot about attitude. And attitude means a way of being or a way of thinking. 
how is your attitude towards yourself towards your game towards other people now that really matters so a good attitude will take an athlete a long long way so attitude actually you know sums up all these qualities together if everyone possesses these qualities then the person has the right attitude to excel in sports so well we spoke about a lot of qualities that sports people need to possess and i'm sure you've realized that just being a great athlete is not an easy task i really hope that you've enjoyed this lesson and that you've understood these words you're going to take some practice to actually get perfect with these words so make sure you keep practicing if you've enjoyed the lesson do subscribe to our channel it's time for me Reema to sign out say bye bye and take care and I'll catch you next time with yet another lesson